checkpoints. What would you say to them if they want to come to this country? You know, there's right channels to do it. And the way they're coming is dangerous. You know, you're going to face a lot of like bad people coming through here through Mexico and Central America. And they're going to take advantage of you. They're going to abuse you. you yeah, know? We've seen uh, the stories about uh, the, the young ladies coming through. Sometimes the ladies are the young ladies who are traveling alone. They get raped. Uh, they get exploited by the coyotes. Coyotes take their money and just drop them off someplace. So there are very real travel concerns. Yeah, it's not worth the risk to your life, you know. And um, the problem is the administration is encouraging this. And the people don't even realize how danger dangerous it really is, you know. Mm -hmm. And yeah, because they, they want to talk about issues that are very relevant. They talk about the health concerns. They talk about how some of these guys come in, they're gang affiliated. Those are very real concerns. But something that everybody can understand is the bottom line, the bottom dollar. How much is this going to cost and, you know, who's going to pay for this? You know, Obama is not taking this money out of his personal bank account to bring these people here. So it's the people of San Bernardino, California. Uh, back in 2009, they had to pay 60, about $60 million for welfare benefits for these illegal immigrants. And how much more are the people here in Murrieta? That's what all the people are telling us. They say, you know, I have no problem with these people coming here. I, I just can't afford it. I have two kids in my house already. I can't afford a third, especially when it's not my own. You know, right. do, do, you, do you find uh, people say those similar sentiments? Yeah, myself included. You know, I'm looking for a second job right now because I have a child on the way in. We can't make it. You know, my house is underwater. We have troubles here, you know, help us. You know, they're not going to help us. No, they, they, <laughs> they don't, they don't want to help you. Help they want to they want to say that you're a racist or you're, a, you know, whatever term they use now. They don't want to talk about the real uh, severe issues that's going to have on you. And then, you know, OK, so when America brings all these people in that it can't afford because we honestly don't take care of our people right now. So when we start to look like an El Salvador or whatever else, and then it's going to be like everybody wants to go to Canada. Everybody wants to go to Switzerland. And then it's like, oh, you're a racist because you want to allow all these people in. But well, that's what they want. They want the collapse. They want us all equally poor. I mean, that's that's their plan. That's been their plan, you know? Mm -hmm. well, let me ask, let yeah. me ask you, Mr. Garza, about uh, Murrieta. How far from the border are you, and how are they bringing these people in, and how would you characterize the, the people that are being brought in? Are they mostly children, or are they young adults, or are they older adults? You know, they say they're children, but I personally haven't seen any because, you know, they turn the buses away pretty quick. Um, but I doubt it's just children. I mean, who knows? They they were classifying people who were like 18, 19 as children. But oh, well, over. Yeah. all the way up to 31 years of old, uh, years oh, of really? age, wow. they're considered to be okay. children under the DREAM Act. So uh, oh, that includes anybody up to 31 <laughs> years of age under the DREAM Act. But uh, are, so they're being bussed in from the border. How far are you from the uh, Mexican border? I, I think we're about like maybe 80, 80 miles, 100 miles. Okay. Yeah, we're kind of far. I mean, it's not that close. Okay, so you're within that 100-mile constitution-free constitution zone. zone. Yeah. yeah. So do you get hassled uh, in ordinarily by uh, ICE agents? Do they set up checkpoints to uh, ask people what country they're from? There was a checkpoint on the 15 um, coming north, but I, I, I don't know if it's in operation right now because of the funding, but they have before. They took me out of the car, and they asked to search the car, and this is when I was like 16, so I didn't you know, I didn't know my rights back then, so right. mm -hmm. I got taken advantage of. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. that's what they'll do, David, because people need to realize just because you get a pass from the Border Patrol does not make you a U.S. citizen. At any time, a proactive ICE agent come knock on your door, hey, sir, uh, you need to come with me. Well, the Border Patrol said I could stay here. Well, that was the Border Patrol. I'm ICE. You're going to the uh, to the immigration hearing. So, I mean, it, it's something that's very relevant, relevant that people need to understand. And then they always parade out the kids. It's all for the kids. It's all this. It's all that. And, you know, we want the kids to have, you know, good schools and good uh, health care and all these other things. But you can't forget about the kids here. You know, we have uh, failing test grades here in the United States. You know, we can't educate the kids that are already here. How much more we have to split our resources to try to teach these uh, classes in Spanish or some, some other dialect. Oh, absolutely. You know, Pelosi said she wanted to bring all the children home with her, but of course, yeah, she, she, she took, couldn't. She took zero. She yeah. said, me, me, me and uh, Staff Sergeant Joe Biggs, she said, I want to take all the kids home. I was like, well, I didn't see any kids. That's into right. Her armored compound. And on more than that, we do have Joe Biggs standing by. I think he's he's ready to get in here. But, you know, Mr. Garza, I just want you to give us any of your final thoughts. You know, people wake up, you know, both sides are exploiting this issue, the Republicans and the Democrats. Um, there are two sides, or two different sides of the same coin, you know. They both have agendas. Um, that's why I say seek alternative people, outsiders, you know, like a Ted Cruz, Rand Paul, Ron Paul, you know, because the establishment's not going to help us. They're not here to help us. Well, hang on. We're getting ready to go to a break, and we're going to be right back with our InfoWars team on the ground in California. We've just been talking to a Murrieta, California resident, Mr. Garza, who is Hispanic, and he was telling us about La Raza and how they essentially are turning on the Hispanic people there.
We'll be right back. Stay with us. Time and time again. You need to come here and help us. We need assistance. Please. Those we should be able to depend on let us down. Federal and state and local officials saying help is on the way. Well, the folks here in Bell Harbor say show me. Don't depend on the government to save you. Take action now so that you're prepared for the next disaster with MyPatriotSupply.com. Get the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more at MyPatriotSupply.com. Call 866-229-0927. We are hurting down here, and we need help immediately. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotSupply.com. MyPatriotSupply.com Alex Jones here for InfoWars.com. In the month of July, we have got giant specials on everything at MadeIn1776.com. The already discounted Made in 1776 t-shirts are only 1776. We have the new belt buckles that in only two weeks of sale are very close to selling out. There's only 500 of each. We're talking about Made in America belt buckles in nickeled brass. This is more than a summer blowout special. This is a new declaration of independence. But to expand the info war, we're offering the equivalent of more than five months free right now when you get a membership at PrisonPlanet.tv for a limited time, only $39.95 a year. That's more than five months free off the regular price. Not just this July 4th weekend, but the entire month of July at MadeIn1776.com. Molon Labe, you can take my gun from my cold, dead hands. A 30-day GMO-free emergency food supply for only $99 at 30dayfoodsupply.com. You can purchase Oregon Trail Foods' one-month supply of high-quality, nutritious, and healthy emergency meals. For less than $100, these vegetarian meals are naturally high in fiber, carbs, and protein, and they're packed with oxygen absorbers in Mylar pouches. They're completely free of any artificial flavors and colorings, have a 20-year shelf life, and take up to 70% less space than number 10 cans. They even offer a gluten free option. Oregon Trail Foods and 30dayfoodsupply.com. Keep prices low by buying directly from the producers in Oregon and then passing the savings to you. Purchase a 30-day 90-serving emergency food supply for only $99 this month and $10 ships your entire order. Visit the website at 30dayfoodsupply.com or call 541-229-0010. That's 30dayfoodsupply.com where they make preparedness affordable. 30dayfoodsupply.com. You are now in the crosshairs. The NSA and the FBI are treating you like a criminal and monitoring your every move. Ron Paul said recently, the evidence of the totalitarian nature of this government is on display undeniably every day. What's taking place right now is a coup and the destruction of the Constitution. But a friend and patriot has discovered a loophole. Find out about the NSA loophole before they shut it down at privacylockdown.com. That's privacylockdown.com. That's the sound of your door being kicked in by an intruder with a single kick. Criminals know that your wooden door frames are weak and your alarm system can't keep them out. That's the sound of the same door now protected by the door sentinel. Standard locks, deadbolts, and alarm systems can't prevent forced entry. Harden your door and door jam with a door sentinel. Protect your home now at MySafeDoor.com. Go to MySafeDoor.com for a special limited time offer. The door sentinel, your home's first line of defense. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight in Austin, and we were just talking to our crew live on the ground in California, in Marietta, California. And of course, there, a third group of immigrants, illegal immigrants, that have been flown from Texas to San Diego were turned away by a crowd of citizen protesters there, concerned about the fact that the border has been opened up and essentially collapsed. In the last segment, uh, we had Jakari Jackson talking to a Mr. Garza of Hispanic uh, origin there, and he was talking about how La Raza, far from 
trying to be embracing. You know, we, we hear that if you oppose the open borders that you are somehow racist, and yet he said he heard, they were acting essentially as an Hispanic KKK. Let's go back to our InfoWars crew live on the ground in California. All right, I'm Staff Sergeant Joe Biggs here live in Murrieta, California at the epic shutdown of the border. Uh, I just spoke to a uh, true patriot over here, and he, he told me something I found very interesting. He said, we are importing poverty. And I like that. I liked how yes. he said that. I thought that was a, a very interesting quote. You know, there's a lot of people starting to show up out here right now. A lot of people are very passionate about this. The town of Marietta, the people here are true Americans, you know, to be able to come out here and stand up and say, no, we're not dealing with this anymore. You know, you're not only importing poverty, but you're also importing voters as well. They've given exactly. them in California. They've just said they're going to give license, driver's licenses to illegal immigrants. Uh, they're going to issue them driver's licenses. And, of course, we know that there's been a lot of voter fraud in a lot of different areas using illegal immigrants. It's going to be very easy for them to uh, get a, a, a driver, a, get a voter registration if they're going to give them driver's licenses. And we've already had a lot of jurisdictions say that they want illegals to vote. And part of that, I think, uh, Joe, is that this is all about the North American Union. And in the next segment, we're going to be talking to Dr. Jerome Corsi. We're going to break that down in more detail for people. But of course, Nancy Pelosi doesn't really see the difference between people that are coming from what we would perceive as being different countries. She says we have just one community, but it happens to have a border running through it. She doesn't see that as, as any more consequential than the border between Texas and Oklahoma, for example. Well, one of the gentlemen I spoke to earlier, he was saying that, you know, one of these kids from Central America at the age of 15 could break down an AK-47 blindfold because they've been growing up in a world of war, basically nonstop, you know, with poverty and a lot of battle going on between the people. So to say that this is some new crisis down there is just complete and total, you know, lies. You know, they've been dealing with this stuff forever. So when these guys come over, we don't know who they are. You know, they have PTSD in a sense. They're young, impressionable minds that can be altered and brainwashed. And like you said, those will turn into votes. And then next thing you know, they take our guns away and things like that. It's a scary situation out here. It's much easier to take young people. I think that's why they're focused on this at this point. They created the DREAM Act two years ago. They made it very clear, however, just recently that it wasn't going to merely apply to people who are already here. They were using it to bring people here now and in the future. And Obama is essentially incentivizing this kind of immigration. He's enticing people to put their children in danger. Mr. Garza that we were just talking to there in Murrieta knows that area very well. He knows the dangers that people are going through. We prosecute parents who leave their children locked up in a hot car during the summer. Why is it that our administration is incentivizing people to either do that to their children and expose them to the dangers of drug cartels, as well as human trafficking, as well as the uh, dangers of the desert? Why are we incentivizing that instead of I, discouraging that? I mean, exactly. The only way that these kids can make it from Central America through Mexico is through these cartels. That's the only way they get passage. I mean, there's nothing safe about it whatsoever. I mean, you're a parent sending your child off with the drug cartels in hopes that they'll make it out there. I mean, who does that? Yeah, and, and of course, as we've seen, they, they haven't been able to, uh, the residents have prevented anybody from getting into that facility so far. But in other areas where they have brought in people into the facilities, we've seen a congressman in Oklahoma who wanted to go in and inquire about the safety and the well-being of the children. He was told he was not going to be allowed to do that. HHS is now saying that uh, reporters are not going to be able to video record any of these children. They're not going to be able to talk to them. They can't even ask questions until after the event. They can then submit questions. What kind of, have you had any interactions so far there in Murrieta, California with any of the uh, immigration officials or the Border Patrol people? No, they're pretty much staying right over there at the very entrance to the uh, Border Patrol area with the uh, pro-amnesty people. That's where Main, our <laughs> Lame Street Media is posted up right now. You know, none of them have been down this way. Some uh, cops have driven by, but the cops that have driven by and some of the Border Patrol, from what I've heard over the past few days, they wave at everybody on this side. 
I wow. think they're a little bit more on the side because the people of Marietta, like I said, are standing together as one for this. The people who are the pro amnesty. We're coming up to a break, Joe. We're coming up to a break. Thanks so much. We're going to be having more reports through the week from Murrieta, California, with our InfoWars crew live on the ground. Stay with We're us. We're coming march. up with Dr. Jerome Corsi, on the all run. about NAFTA. Stay Alex with Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Alex Jones here for InfoWars.com. In the month of July.